Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year. You have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday, you can open it now. Grandpa, what is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can, just sit tight. Excuse me, miss, are you Giselle? Hi, um, yes, my grandpa, is he gonna be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you gonna call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's gonna pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. Hey, Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee. If your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? <laughs> Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. It's not how much someone loves you, it's how much they hate you. You're making that up. My mom would never lie to me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, look. I don't understand. Why would she lie? I have no idea, but I promise you I was telling the truth. <sighs> I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll call you later. Mom? Honey, you're home. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. About what? Is it true that you lied to me about the percentage? No, I would never lie to you. So you're telling me that that is not a hate percentage, that's a love percentage? Okay, yes. I lied to you. Why would you lie to me? I broke up with my boyfriend and I almost lost my best friend. Well, why do you think mine is on 100%? Please choose the nice outfit. Are you kidding me? It's picture day! All right, Brianna, come up. You're next. No.
Get ready to smile for your picture in three, two, one. Are you ready for the test? Of course, I literally studied all night long. You better let me write this test. Jerk. Miss, I have to leave. I can't write my test, I'm sorry. Why did you leave during the test? You said you were prepared. This is so humiliating. <laughs> Jake, why are you laughing so much? I just made my soulmate have the worst day of her life. Really? Yeah, I ruined her picture day, made her miss her test, and then I absolutely humiliated her. Well, you look scary. You. Today it's my turn to make the choices. Revenge is gonna be sweet. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like someone's missing basketball practice. You're the worst. You knew I had basketball practice. And you knew I had picture day. No, 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 please. I have to go to that class. I'm so close to failing. Yeah, and I really needed to write the test yesterday, too, so... Here, I bought you some cookies. Oh, you're bribing me. Uh, no, I'm just a nice guy. Well, you're lucky. Unlike you, I'm actually a good person. Woo, you can do this, Jake! Woo, we won! I know! The other team, they didn't stand a single chance against you guys. Thanks for letting me play. I hope you can forgive me for being such a jerk. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, sweetheart. Here. I made you lunch. You always know just how to brighten someone's day. Hey, Mrs. K, that necklace looks absolutely stunning on you. Really? It does? My bully? No way! She doesn't deserve it! What are you wearing? <laughs> I know, it's so funny, right? I mean, like, what am I wearing? What am I wearing? You're acting strange. Hey, want to know something so crazy? I've never actually seen you smile. Why don't you show me those pearly whites? <laughs> Okay! Hey, so I'm actually doing a survey for a class. I just need you to write down all the things that make you happy. I know what you're doing. You're trying to make me smile. It's not gonna work. I haven't smiled one day in my entire life. There has to be something that makes you smile. No, nothing. All I see is darkness and the world crumbling around me. That's dark. I know! Let's go to that garden you like so much. You know, the one with all the... Decaying flowers? Yes, that place is nice. It stinks here! That would be all the rotting plants. This place makes you happy? Yes, I like it. The decaying flowers is like a metaphor for my life. Then why aren't you smiling? I'm so glad to be out of there. I can finally breathe again. Hey, has anyone ever told you how pretty you are? Flattery will get you nowhere. What am I gonna do? If I can't make you smile by the end of the week, my life is... Over. Okay, I'll smile if it means you're gonna leave me alone. Yes, please. No. That's not a smile. Yes, it is. That's creepy. It's okay. I won't give up. Come with me. You're going to smile. I found a list of jokes on the internet, and I'm going to recite them to you until you smile. Why couldn't the pony sing a lullaby? Because he was a little horse. You have the humor of a brick wall. Once you see how pretty you look in this makeup, you are going to smile for sure. Don't put pink stuff on me. Okay, you're done then. Look in the mirror. Oh, what did you do to my face? Put this on. It's totally going to go with your makeup. No. What? Why? You don't like this sweater? It's literally my favorite one. I'm not interested in any of these things. You're only doing the things you like, and I'm nothing like you. You just like basically everything. I don't know what to do anymore. I give up. You're never gonna smile. Oh! <laughs> you just ran into the door. I'm not surprised. He never sends me anything. Hey guys. My soulmate just sent me $200. While mine sent 10000 10000 That's crazy. How much did yours send? You didn't send me anything. Wow, must suck to be you. Whatever. You wanna come shopping with us off to school? I wait, she can't cause she's poor. At least I'm not money hungry like you guys. You're just saying that cause you're jealous. 
I guess the least you could do is send me thin butt so I could get my nails done. What? Girl, I have something to tell you, but you can't tell anyone. What is it? My soulmate just sent me one million dollars. I think I know who it is. I think I know who it is. Girl, spit it out. You know that famous singer Alex? Yeah. He said in an interview that he sent his soulmate one million. Please, there's no way. It makes perfect sense. No, it's probably just a coincidence. Hey Giselle, guess what? If this is about my soulmate, you can stop. He's playing a concert here tonight. We have to go. You're not gonna let this go, are you? You know me too well. Fine, if I go, will you shut up about it? If you go, I'll never say a word about it again. Fine, I'll go. Okay, we're here. Now what? Ladies and gents, before the concert starts, I would just like to donate $2 million to my soulmate. Are you a beer? Yeah. My mouth just went up. Ladies and gents, before the concert starts, I would just like to donate $2 million to my soulmate. Olivia? Yeah? My amount just went up. See, I told you it's him. I knew it. Well, what do we do now? We have to see him after the concert, of course. How are we going to do that? We don't have the passes. Just leave that to me. Let's go. Hi, ladies. Can I help you? Um, yes, we would like to see Alex. Can I please see your VIP passes? We don't have any. Excuse me, sir. I know Alex personally. Why, of course, right this way. I can't believe he just got us in. One of my many talents. He's coming. Well, go talk to him. Good evening, miss. Would you like an autograph? Actually, no. I think you might be my soulmate. What? And why is that? Good evening, miss. Would you like an autograph? Actually, no. I think you might be my soulmate. What? Why is that? Well, when you donated two million to your soulmate, my amount went up. And how many did you have in your account prior? One million. Then it's definitely possible. Come with me. Where even are we? We're going to check it for soulmates. Put your hand on the scanner. Okay. Mine says soulmate found. Mine does too. Wait, we're getting something else. There's another match. Wait, what does that mean? That means you have two soulmates. This is ridiculous. You can only have one soulmate, not two. Well, that's what the system says. Alex, this is not the time to be sending me money. I didn't send you anything. What? I do have two. Come on, make me something good. A penguin and a backpack? No freaking way, I love this. I got a magic wallet that gives me money. That is so cool. I know, right? What'd you get? I got a penguin backpack, but I don't really know what it does yet. I'm gonna go get some food, see you. Okay, bye. Man, I really wish I had some water. Whoa, is it just me or did this thing get heavier? No way, there is like a bunch of waters in here. This backpack must grant wishes. Okay, let's just test this again. I wish for $100 in 20s. This is amazing. I'm home. I wish for some headphones. Hey sis, what's this? Aren't you kind of old to have a stuffed animal backpack? Give it back. Wait a minute, what's inside of here? Hey, how'd you get all this money? Did you steal this money? No, it was my magic gift. It grants me wishes. Yeah, right. Prove it. All right. I wish for a necklace. Nothing happened. I must have to be holding on to it for it to work. Nice try. I know you're stealing money. You probably think you're so cool, but you're not. Ugh. Oh, yeah? How about now, Benson? That's it. Where are you? I wish to be at a friend's house. I really hope you can do that. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Oh, hey, Chad! Uh, how, how'd you get in here? Uh, your back door was open. Sweet! I was wondering if you wanted to come to prom with me. Yeah! I gotta check on something. Be right back. Okay. He asked me to prom, but I don't even have a dress. Wait! I wish for a red dress that's kind of fitted, but not too fitted. You know what I mean, Penguin. Just work your magic. Oh my gosh, yes! This is perfect! 
I should also wish for some accessories and- Hey, there's some cops in the front of my house and they say they're- Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny. Yay. And one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is... No one. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter. She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. Come on, make me something good. A penguin and a backpack? No freaking way, I love this. I got a magic wallet that gives me money. That is so cool. I know, right? What'd you get? I got a penguin backpack, but I don't really know what it does yet. I'm gonna go get some food. See you. Okay, bye. Man, I really wish I had some water. Whoa, is it just me or did this thing get heavier? No way. There is like a bunch of waters in here. This backpack must grant wishes. Okay, let's just test this again. I wish for $100 in 20s. This is amazing. I'm home. I wish for some headphones. Hey sis, what's this? Aren't you kind of old to have a stuffed animal backpack? Give it back. Wait a minute, what's inside of here? Hey, how'd you get all this money? Did you steal this money? No, it was my magic gift. It grants me wishes. Yeah, right, prove it. All right, I wish for a necklace. Nothing happened. I must have to be holding on to it for it to work. Nice try. I know you're stealing money. You probably think you're so cool, but you're not. Ugh. Oh yeah? How about now, Benson? That's it. Where are you? I wish to be at a friend's house. I really hope you can do that. <clears throat> Whoa! Hey! Oh, hey, Chad. Uh, how, how'd you get in here? Uh, your back door was open. Sweet. I was wondering if you wanted to come to prom with me. Yeah. I gotta check on something. Be right back. Okay. He asked me to prom, but I don't even have a dress. Wait, I wish for a red dress that's kind of fitted, but not too fitted. You know what I mean, Penguin. Just work your magic. Oh my gosh, yes, this is perfect. I should also wish for some accessories and... Hey, there's some cops in the front of my house and they say they're... Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny. Yay. And one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is... No one. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter. She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. 
I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brienne, pull me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. Please, don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. Alright. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I told you to clean this room, honey. I did the baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I did the baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I get some dress to play date to you. What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I need to see it. Let me tell you something. Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on. How is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back. Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah. Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I had the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey, Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm, no, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you try to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma? It's a real bit. <sighs> another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat>
It's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! Uh-oh, you got a mark. Five mistakes and you're out. Out? Like... <laughs> yes, exactly. Two plus two. Brianna, what's the answer? Um... I can't answer it. I don't want to make a mistake. I know the answer. It's three. <laughs> that was Timmy's fifth mistake. Five mistakes and you're out. Brianna, hold this. What is wrong with you? Why did you give that to me to hold when I wasn't ready? Chill out. It's no big deal. No, I can't chill out. I have two marks now. Three more and I'm out. Giving her that to hold was a mistake. What? How is that a mistake? Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Um. No, that's my last mistake. You still have three left. It was her mistake, not mine. Hey, guys. You can't sit with us. Why not? For the reason Sophie's dead. You let her die so you didn't get another mark. Why should I get a mark? I wasn't the one who made a mistake. Five marks and you're out. You're so selfish. Your shoelaces are untied. Hmm? Why would you do that? Sir, she made a mistake. She forgot to tie her shoelaces and then she tripped. What? No, you tripped me. You're now the school's target. That's what you get for killing Sophie. You're going to be next. Happy birthday. We got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco, giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I just a baby. Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I just a baby. I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? 
What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great- Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too. Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now, come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's... Dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam. Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. 
Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Sam, you're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I... You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam. And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <sighs> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run. Y yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I always had a feeling you and I were so much, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charming. It's okay. I got something better. Someone's calling on the telephone. Hurry up and answer it. They're going to give you a word and you must pass it on to the next person. The first person who says the word incorrectly dies. Your word is cookie. Huh? Say that again? They only tell you the word once. Now hurry, pass it on to me. Cookie. Come here, Timmy. Cookie. I know the word. It's Wookie. Timmy! Hey, Brianna, can you come here for a second? Okay. Get in. I'm sorry. I got chosen to play telephone. Hey, Stephanie. What's up? I have to pass on a word to you. Get in. That's an easy word. Kevin, come here. Britain. No! Oh no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Oh no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Brianna, hurry, pass on the word. This word is really hard. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Pass on your word. No. Come on, Brianna. It can't be that bad. What? What did you say? Is that even a word? I know it's a hard word, Bessie, but you have to try your best. I don't want to lose you. Kevin, come here. Automatopia. What the? Jake, come here. Automatopia. No, Kevin! Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair! Hurry! Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair! Hurry! Answer now, or die. Your word? Anti, anti, this, this, this established men. Pass on your word. Give me a minute. Brianna, hurry, pass the word on to me. I can't, it's too hard. Teacher, teacher, I have to pass a word on to you. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Easy word, you know I'm an English teacher, right? Jake, come here. Anti disestablishment. I'm getting a call. What the? Where am I? Am I dead? You're not dead. You're an afterlife sorter. Afterlife sorter? Who decided this? Jesus. <laughs> My childhood dog biscuits. <laughs> you are such a good boy. Wow, you look good. Jason, remember when you cheated on me with like 10 different girls? That was a long time ago. I'm a changed man. Go to hell. No! Hey, girl! Bestie, what are you doing here? I was dancing on top of a building and then I tripped. Classic bestie. Ooh, 70%. What? Nothing. 
Go to heaven, girl. Huh? Myself? Well, obviously. Obviously. Why is it not working? Baby, they're watching. Hurry up. Smile. Baby, smile. We've got a code red. Okay, okay, I'm smiling, I'm smiling. Your smile is looking a little low today. Yeah, it is. We're going to have to use the clothing pins again. You need a much wider smile than that. Hey, Bree. Hey, Bestie, your smile's looking a little low. Here, try these clothing pins. It's a trick my mom taught me. You put it right here. What's even the point anymore? Bestie, you need to smile. I can't lose you, too. We've got a code red. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. My boyfriend, my best friend, my five-year-old sister. Your mother would be very upset you're acting this way. Yeah, the creator of the smiling law. She told us to show no mercy to her children, but I figured she'd be upset if both her daughters were gone. Mother. Where's your smile? You're the creator of the smiling law. Is that a problem, honey? Think of all the people that died because of you. Little sister, she was only five years old. And she didn't obey the law, and neither did you. Where are the police? You're a monster. Looks like I'm going to have to get rid of you myself. Come on, honey. You've already lost everyone. You really want to lose your mother, too? You're the only one I wanted to lose. A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Okay, I think this clip is telling you the truth about people. You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent, because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over here. <sighs> hey, boss, look why I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sends you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. Do you know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or- Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because you can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. What? It's jammed. Okay, both of you drop your weapons now. Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You've gotta regret it. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're gonna come looking for us soon. Take this cash, you're gonna run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know. Now let's go. 
I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to. My boss knows my license plate. He could have tracked us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so what's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack, I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Looking for Jack. You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the... This thing just spoke to me. What'd it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the... It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna... Hey, that's enough. Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just trank darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not gonna turn you in. I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was gonna happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm gonna find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip, and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you, because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wants me to... Yes, the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy. You're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. 
Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry. I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know where you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, do you need this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm gonna get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you off to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now why don't you just fetch? <gasps> no! <sighs> Thank goodness it's not broken. No. <sighs> she locked me in here? Oh no, it looks like they're already reading their vow. I have to take this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No! Anne? What? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... 
Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't, don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. All right, okay, here you go. I'm gonna give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yes. yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <laughs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're going to work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about it? I was just going to say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you got really nice. Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. It's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs>
It'll be okay. No, it's not gonna be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college, but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so... Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Only one? He's so innocent. I love him. Two at once? It's okay. It's okay. I am not judging. Not judging. Three at once? When we finally meet, him and I are gonna have to have a little chat about this one. My soulmate's body count is six. I mean, it's not that bad. It could be worse. That's horrible. Absolutely crazy. Is that crazy? How much is your soulmate's body count? Zero. Um, zero? Calm down, guys. It's 2021. There's nothing wrong with being a little promiscuous. Their body count isn't how many they've been with, it's how many they've killed. What? I can't believe it. I can't believe my soulmate is a killer. Calm down. Just breathe. You'll probably never even have to meet him. You know, it's honestly offensive that the universe thinks I belong with somebody like that. Let's get our mind off things. Let's watch TV. Breaking news, the Cheerios Bandit is on the loose. What kind of name is that? The Cheerios Bandit? He already has over 10 bodies. Could that be him? Your soulmate? I, I need some fresh air. I think I'm gonna throw up. There's no way. There's no way the Cheerios Bandit could be my soulmate. Who are you? Come with me. It's time for the big reveal. What did I get? You got gold. Gold? <gasps> I knew it. I was born for fame. Okay, show me yours. What did I get? <gasps> you got gold too. Oh my god, we are so lucky. Girl, did you hear they're looking for a girl with a pink mark? They say she's the long lost princess. What? <laughs> no way. The prince was also given a pink mark. There's only two people within the whole kingdom with a pink mark. You know, gold never really suit me, but... Marrying a prince sure will. Hello, sir. I'm here to see the prince. Nobody sees the prince. Yeah, okay. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. Please come with me right away. <laughs> of course. You're so beautiful, just as I expected. <laughs> I mean, me too. You're, you're handsome, I mean, not beautiful. Well, you are beautiful, but... <laughs> I get what you mean. Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining the dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your day. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Please let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. <laughs> no problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. 
Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... Before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You pick Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend. You may not change it. No, please. It is an emergency. Question. Is your life currently at risk? Yes. That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? <laughs>